Hi there and welcome back. Let us solve this equation both using analytically and numerically using octave. First things first, I personally like to rewrite the equation for myself, then only introduce the partial fractions using the partial fraction rules. So for x squared plus 1, we have ax plus b. For x minus 1, we have c. Next is to cross multiply. If you cross multiply, you will be left with like terms which can be easily grouped together. Notice for x squared on the main equation, we have minus 1x squared. The partial fraction cross multiplied equation, we have ax squared plus cx squared and 0b x squared. Do the same thing for x to the power of 1 and for constant. So I have to describe them together in the form of equation. You will notice that you have a metric form of equation which can be solved numerically using octave else you could have alternatively used analytical methods such as simultaneous equations. Remember that the matrix law says ax equals to b. Based on what you can see that we have a, we have b, we are only short x. For x I made an error there. It's supposed to be x which is a, b, c, not a, represent for a using the row and column rule. If you don't know how to do this, we have great videos that we uploaded on how to actually compute row and column rule octave. When you use octave to solve for x, you can say x is equal to inverse a multiplied by b, either by writing down the i and v or by using slash. So yes, you should obtain your answer. I really hope this makes sense.